five. Local 2 News this morning starts now. We need like a big scandal or something <laughs> to spice up Monday. Breaking news. Yeah, I know, right? Well, this next story is interesting. November yeah. is Diabetes Awareness Month, and coming up, we are joined by an optometrist. Yes, we are. This optometrist will tell us how optometrists can serve us as the first line of detection for diabetes. All right, well, it is Diabetes Awareness Month, and did you know an eye exam could show if you actually have diabetes? Yeah, a recent study showed diabetes is responsible for 8% of legal blindness in adults. Dr. June Wang is here to tell us how optometrists can serve as the first line of detection for diabetes and diabetic eye disease. And just one more thing I want to add, you are from Cornerstone Optometry here in Palm Desert. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, so... Let's start off right off the bat with what are the basic warning signs of diabetic eye disease? Well, you know, the warning signs obviously, you know, if your vision is blurry, if you see any kind of distortions in your vision or loss of your side vision, that can be a sign. But most often, there are no signs in the early stages of the disease. And that's why it's very important to see your local optometrist so that you get a comprehensive eye exam. And so, so how does it work? I mean, mm -hmm. basically break down what the eyes show that can diagnose disease. Because you think diabetes, you think, uh, right. you know, it's sugar related and all that stuff, and you're thinking, eyes? How does that work? Well, so the eyes are the only place in your entire body where the blood vessels can be viewed directly. And so we can often see during the eye exam if there's any swelling at the blood vessels, leakage, bleeding within the back of your eye. And so that's why it's important to have a, a dilated eye exam. And that's where, you know, your optometrist will put the drops in your eyes and then they can get a better view of all the structures within your eye to make sure things are healthy and make sure you don't have any of the early signs of diabetic eye disease. Okay, awesome. So I just went and had my eyes checked. So obviously that's what the doctor was looking at without even telling me that. Who is most likely to have um, this issue, this problem? So it's nearly double in the population for African Americans and Hispanics. Um, but you know, if you have a family history, if you have a, you know, parents or siblings that have <clears throat> diabetes and that also is a risk factor pretty much you know it's very important to follow up with your primary care doctor as well to you know see what your risk factors are and they'll probably recommend that you get an eye exam how often should someone get this type of eye exam so for diabetics we really urge um, you know yearly eye exams because it's important you know the early signs can often you know, just creep up on you. So it's very important that diabetics come for their full comprehensive, you know, optometric eye exam every year. And one thing you do need to remember though, when you get that dilation, take a couple of minutes before you drive home because you oh, are very, very sensitive <laughs> yeah. to light. All right, thank you so much. To find a local optometrist or get more information about eye health and diabetes, visit eyehealth.org. Thank you, Dr. Wang, for sort of explaining this issue to us you know it's something you know like it's sort of i think glossed over a lot of the time and mm -hmm. this is an important thing thank you have a good monday you're welcome